Space Between Us stars Asa Butterfield as a boy who was born on Mars and when his mother died after his birth, NASA basically kind of covered up the story uh, so that Earth wouldn't find out and wouldn't kind of kick up a stink about what was going on and then they'd lose funding. So he spends 16 years of his life on Mars and then suddenly decides, actually, I want to go to Earth now. And that's what happens. He goes to Earth and falls in love. And then the rest of the film happens. Now, given that this film is written almost like a Nicholas Sparks adaptation, you would probably pretty much know exactly where this film is going and every plot point in between without having seen it. Uh, I walked into the theatre for this and the first kind of dead giveaway that this film was going to be the way it is, is that as I was walking up the stairs, I noticed the whole auditorium was just women. Um, and I got a few funny looks, to be honest. I've got nothing against chick flicks, I think. When a chick flick is good, a chick flick is good. It doesn't matter, you know? It, it, a good movie is a good movie. The cast here are all excellent, really. Ata Butterfield is really great. Britt Robertson is really good in this. Um, I thought she was fantastic in um, Tomorrowland, which is a really underrated film in and of itself. But she's great here as well. Gary Oldman is fantastic in this. And Carla Gugino is always pretty reliable. But the actors are let down by a script which signposts every twist, every turn and every character development long before they happen. I feel like I know exactly where this is going. The twist at the end of this film is kind of so signposted throughout that I, I knew long before it, it was, yeah, before it was even on the cards. Literally within the first five minutes when something happens, I looked at a particular character and said, yep, it's you. The film does have charm though, uh, due to those performances. I think the cast deliver much more than this script deserves. I also think that director Peter Chelsom delivers much more than this script deserves. This week I've watched two films at the cinema, The Great Wall and this, and in both it is the script that has let them down, not the direction, not necessarily the performances, maybe a little bit in The Great Wall, but it's the script. If you don't have it on the page, you're not going to have it on the stage. It's a real shame because I think the high concept of this film is actually a pretty decent one. And I think you could use it to explore some real weighty issues about humanity and about what it is to be human. Um, you know, some of the bigger questions in life. This, 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 this kid's been raised on a different planet, for crying out loud. So, you know, and it is nice in the film when we do get to see some of, his, some of his reactions to being on Earth for the first time. But I feel that they're somewhat underplayed. They're going for charm rather than any real, realistic view of, of what this kid would be going through. Anyway, I'm going to give this film a two and a half out of five. There you go. I, I think it's the performances that elevate it from... from <laughs> from less than a two really uh but yeah what about you have you seen this film if so what did you think about it comment below let me know and until next time thanks for watching